Um, no, no, no. So it's not squared, but we're we're going to make it squared, right? And that way we know what we're substituting for or with, of, how, where, when, and why. So. So u squared equals x to the two thirds. Yeah. So u squared is going to be x to the two thirds, right? Which means that u by itself would be x to the one third. Again, if we square the u, then we'd get uh, the square of the x to the one third. That's x to the two thirds. That's great. So, x to the two thirds, I'm going to replace with u squared plus two, and x to the one third, we replace with u. That's plus one equals zero. This one right here is a uh, perfect square trinomial right there. Uh, what I mean by that is we can split it up and make it a perfect square. So the two factors that would add up to 2 of 1, that sounded like I worded that really weird, is 1 and 1. So I end up with u plus 1 and u plus 1. Of course, this equals 0, right? Which really is just u plus 1. That squared equals 0. It's at this point that we would be looking to replace the u with what it was, and that's x to the one-third. Now looking at this with in exponential form may not be, uh, well, very pretty, right? So in other words, I, I may just want to change this to the cube root of x, like this, and then plus one. And, and here's why on that is if I went ahead and square rooted this, whether it was either one of this, by the way, because they, they are the same thing, then I, I've got the square root of something that's squared, but it's zero, so it doesn't really matter if I take the positive or negative value of zero on that, and I just end up with x to the one-third plus one now, that equals zero. On this second term, and again, it just depends on which way you want to look at it, I, I would have the cube root of x plus 1 equals 0. Well, I can solve both of these. On this one, I would subtract 1 from both sides, so I'd have x to the 1 third equals a negative 1. And on the second one, I would have the cube root of x equals negative 1. Again, they're the same thing. Well, from here... I would need to cube this one and I could cube this one as well to get x by itself. And one third times three is one. I don't really need to show that one, but I can. And negative one cubed is just negative one. Same with this one. I mean, you'd, you'd still just need to cube that as well. And the answer is still the same though. So x is negative one. If we were to go in and try this thing in uh, the original equation, we would find a true answer on that, so it's been checked.